All right, so we're getting back on this Cub Cadet zero turn here. Still trying to get this drive pulley off the crankshaft. Uh, I did get a new tool. Hopefully I don't have to use it. I'm going to try something that was, uh, it was in the back of my mind while I was trying to get it off the first time. There, there's still a keyway, uh, an actual key in the shaft for the clutch. And I was thinking that that would come out when I pull on the pulley. Uh, but everything I put on there to push against with the puller is actually blocking that keyway, that the key, from sliding out. Now, I would have thought if it was actually a problem, it would have maybe deformed the washer I had on there or something like that. So I'm going to try putting something else in the end of the crankshaft that's going to allow that key to slide out. And we're going to give it one more pull before I get out my new tool that I got that I want to try to avoid using. So let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm going to get that washer out of there. And we're going to put a bolt in there with a raised edge around the head. And it's going to fit up inside the shaft a little bit. And hopefully not cover that key so that it can come out. Ooh. Well, I'm going to have to get this off of here first. There we go. So this washer here, it started pushing that one through there a little bit. It, it made them into one. So now it looks like there should be space for that key to slide past that bolt head. So now, if it, if it was actually the washers I was using, it should start to come out. It should start to lower that pulley down. And I sure hope it does, because even though that tool I bought, special, costs a lot of money, I've been wanting one and I'll just keep it anyway. But it ain't looking good. Yeah, that should be able to slide down through there. And it does not want to cooperate yet. Well, it still does not want to move. So I'm going to have to resort to uh, other tactics. I'm going to have to get this oil out of here. Get this all cleaned off. I don't want anything flaming up. So we're going to put you guys on pause till I get this all cleaned up. And we'll see what happens. All right, so I got this all cleaned up as good as I can. Get all that oil residue off of everything. Get all the grass out of there. So hopefully the only thing with a flame is the tip of the torch that I finally broke down and got at Harbor Freight. Of course, I've been wanting one of these for years, and well, this put me over the edge, and there was a coupon. So it was $2.99 plus fill in the bottles. So let's see what happens now. All right, let's we'll see what happens here. Of course, now everything's all wet, drippy. Didn't really want that, but could wait a day or two, it would be dry. But I want to see what happens here. Time to make some progress on this thing. Let's get this hose over here. So we don't hit my camera. All right, now I'm the only one here, so you guys are going to have to try and be my fire watch. 
let me know if anything looks out of control. All right, I'm going in. This tip is a zero. It's a lot smaller than what I'm used to where I work at. The whole torch is smaller. But it's a hobby size torch. Well, we got things sizzling in there. Not really sure what that's going to be. Got a little bit of smoke coming. Trying not to let the flame get anywhere except for right where I want it. I can smell it getting hot. I can see smoke. Definitely hear something sizzling. For this purpose right here, it is convenient that everything is so small with this torch. Oop. Anybody else hear that? I heard a pop. like something popped loose still doesn't really want to move too much but I did hear it pop yeah I think that key is pushing down a little bit now like that might that bolt might be in the way but it definitely sounded like it moved Oh yeah, she's coming off now. I think I finally won this battle. Part of it was that key does need to slide out with that pulley. And that's something that, that was in the back of my mind before. And uh, this time I decided I was gonna make sure that that had space to move. But if you heard that pop when I was heating it up, it was obvious that the bolt that I'm using to push against the shaft was not what was holding up that key or holding up that pulley. This thing definitely wanted heat to come off. So luckily I had it torqued up pretty good that when it did finally loosen up, it, it actually moved a little bit and made a noise. So I knew I could turn my flame off and not take any more risk of... Uh, something getting overheated that I didn't want to get overheated. So now she's coming off pretty easy. So, this started out as an example of uh, what can go wrong. And uh, yeah, you could maybe argue that I didn't do everything perfect the first time around. But, uh, you know, I ended up with this bearing separator pulling against this pulley. And uh, it still took heat to get it to move. So it was not going to happen without heat. Maybe a lot of heat. You know, if you would have put a lot more heat on this than what I did, there's a chance maybe you could have got it apart without damaging the pulley. But uh, I kind of doubt it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to buy another pulley, but I knew that a couple weeks ago when I started out on this. As soon as I started prying on it and it didn't want to come loose and I started to bend it, that was pretty much a given. All right, everything up there is going to be toasty warm. And there it goes. And there's the seal laying over there. And I'm going to leave it lay over there for now. This is all nice and warm. So 
So here you can see what this pulley looks like. It's uh, it's kind of a reverse pulley now. So it's got a pretty thick shaft in the center, and that rusted fast, and and it had no plans on coming loose. And uh, it's different than that other one I had here. On this one, that key actually does go up to help drive this pulley. I have the same pulley off another Kohler engine, but it's a bigger shaft, and uh, it has a, a key that's punched into it instead of having this style here. Now, is this, is this key part of this pulley? Because otherwise it should have slid down over the key. Anyways, it sure seems like that key is part, it's either just in there really tight or it's made to be part of that pulley, which I, I find that extremely hard to believe. But it does kind of end funny right there in the in the pulley. You know, maybe it ends square and that's just dirt. But it is shaped. It is shaped to match the end of the shaft there. So it, it is starting to move a little bit. You know, maybe once this cools down, I may have to get that out of there and use it in the next pulley. That's a very real possibility. But I can do that when it cools down. And right now, it doesn't want to cooperate at all. So for now, yay, I finally got that pulley off. And there, the shaft, it, the shaft really doesn't look bad to me. Of course, I'm not going to touch it right now. But I'm just happy I won that battle. Now I gotta spend more money to get that pulley. Probably order some belts. All right, we will continue on with this next time.